Обережно, двері зачиняються. Caution. The doors are closing. Good day to all. Olvif Underground is online again. Following a series of spectacular hacks, we decided to claim responsibility for a few recent glitches in the consciousness of Russian propagandists. In late May, Inform Napalm Community published an analytical report, featuring personal data, of 58 crews of Tapol F-95, Tapol F-160 and Tapol F-22M strategic bombers, Sukhoi-24 attack bombers, Sukhoi-30 multipurpose fighters. Sukhoi-25 close support strike aircraft, and Ilushin-20 electronic intelligence aircraft. Russian propagandists appeared hysterical. They called the data collected from open sources, classified information, and mortal danger for the Russian servicemen. Let us have a look. Another provocation appeared on the website of Inform Napalm Agency, and it is much more grave and dangerous. Personal data of 58 officers of Russian Aerospace Forces, now deployed in Syria, were made available to the public. Names, pictures, tail and registration numbers, addresses, air bases. Disclosure of this classified data may represent a mortal danger for our servicemen. Our infographics also received prominent presentation by some Russian media. For example, after a dose of truth serum, and a news website, reproduced this publication of Inform Napalm. The fervent anti-Americanism of the Russian Channel 5 anchors, helped us advertise our fundraiser for the purchase of laptops, for the Inform Napalm volunteer investigators. Showing our page on People's Project, with flags for different language versions, the anchor concluded that those were the flags with which Inform Napalm volunteers adorned themselves. Note the flags, which they use to adorn themselves, and excellent English language in the video. Reports about the Russian aggressive policies. Our volunteers analyze and publish facts of the Russian army's participation in the it has been said that volunteers collect information on Russian military. In Donbas and in Syria, the new leak was actually called, who is bombing Syria? Personal data of 58 Russian Air Force officers. Our special thanks, go to this major Russian TV channel, for professional delivery of our central message. We believe, that a criminal of war, encouraged by his anonymity, under such impersonal umbrella terms as green men, Russian Air Force or Russian officers would be assured of his impunity. However, we hope that our publications will make officers of the Russian Air Force reconsider the personal consequences, and refuse to carry out criminal orders, refuse to take the blood of innocent people on the conscience. Many Russian journalists, under the pressure of an authoritarian system, are desperately yearning to convey the information to their audience, often masking it under a critical anti-European rhetoric. However indirect, this method allows for breaking the Iron Curtain and disseminating the truth. And it gives us certainty, for victory, over the Russian aggression. Next station, Maidan God willing. And we are in Lviv underground again. After our first video address of the 29th of April, some viewers thought that we were joking. But we were not. In fact, we were, and are dead serious.